Coming up in the week in the European Parliament, helping energy consumers and eradicating energy poverty, virtual money, and a big Sakharov Prize conference to advance human rights. Welcome to the agenda. Many complain that progress on completing the EU's digital single market is far too slow, leaving Europe lagging behind in the information age. The Commission recently released detailed plans to address that. They focus on connectivity, e-society research and the subject of a statement to Parliament on Wednesday by Vice President Maros Shevkovic, geo-blocking. This is restricting access to web content based on geographical location. A debate the same day on Energy Union aims to make sure consumers benefit from liberalized markets now and in the future. But what does that mean for you and me? Affordable and sustainable energy, plus energy efficient products and buildings, and the power to produce, consume or trade our own renewable energy. A vote on a new deal for consumers is on Thursday. Commission Vice President Shevkovich will also make a presentation on how to fight energy poverty. Talking of poverty, why is it more women in Europe are poor than men? 65 million live in poverty, well over the 57 million men. Look to single parenthood, austerity, job discrimination, unequal pension rights for answers, says Maria Arena. She's the author of a report on the gender perspective of poverty. The debate is on Wednesday, the vote is on Thursday. Now you see it, now you don't. At least you wouldn't if I was a halfway decent magician. And you certainly wouldn't if it was virtual money, like say, Bitcoin. It appeared in 2009. For the first time, Parliament will be delivering a report on Wednesday on the implications and complexities of virtual money. A vote follows on Thursday. And now, in brief, here are some other highlights of the week. King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands will address plenary on Wednesday. On Tuesday, Parliament's Economic Affairs Committee votes on rules against tax avoidance that distort the internal market. Counterterrorism is under scrutiny in the Civil Affairs Committee, which on Monday hears updates from a committee overseeing internal security cooperation on the security situation in 2016 and on changes in the modus operandi of Islamic State. On Saturday, Parliament invites the public to inspect its inner workings. Earlier this month, it was in Strasbourg. This time, it's Brussels. Finally, the 2016 Conference of the Sakharov Prize Network takes place on Monday and Tuesday. It's designed to advance human rights across the world. Among the participants this year, Denis Mukwege, Sakharov Prize laureate in 2014. Plenty there for everyone, all of which and more you can follow on Europarl TV. Enjoy the week. So how does this trick work now? I know I can nail this.